and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business and founders of Experience Pros University are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. How's your finger? You we don't have to bring that up. No, I need to, bring to know. That up. How's your? Everybody wants to know. Nobody wants to know. I got my finger squished yesterday when Eric uh, turned his chair. My hand was on the um, armrest, and my yeah. finger got squished. Very sorry. Uh, but I'm all better, all better. Glutton for punishment, though. We went back and watched the the video of it because, of course, we we videotaped the show, and watched my face get all like scrunched up and right. Or I squealed, but in looking back at the video, no, it was pretty instant. Yeah, yeah and uh, and then listening to me ramble and try to hold on a a conversation, um, we both like it was two minutes of Angel just talking. Yes, um, trying to ignore the pain in her finger and make sense of something, and yeah, I didn't. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, but you didn't know that at the time either. Fascinating. Neither of us, neither of us were real. Really, like paying attention, we were just filling the air. Fascinating non-talk uh, is, is what it was. Non-talk, yes. Non-talk radio. Right. Uh, so if you if you want. We should just take off the armrests in the chair and remove all armrests from all chairs going forward. That might be a good idea. Should we but just I might swing fall the out. pendulum and? I might fall out. Do they hold you in? They do. They do not. Yeah, they 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 uh, they squeeze my parts. Uh, One thousand three hundred thirty nine quite interesting facts to make your jaw drop tells us that in Alabama, mm -hmm. it is illegal to, to eat a hamburger backwards in the middle of the street. No. Somewhere that is a law. I bet. In Alabama, it is illegal to recommend shades of paint without a license. You can't recommend. I think you should have this shade you of... You need a license for that, lady. Fifty shades of gray, not allowed to oh, mention. illegal. Unless I have a license. Illegal on a number of different fronts, I am understanding. I'm, okay, but only in where? Georgia? You know the Knights Atlanta? Templar, they Alabama? knew something. Yeah, in, paint? In, in Alabama. Mm. Uh, no, well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the Knights Templar, their most important rule was you must avoid kissing women. Avoid it? Yeah. Kissing women. Right. C cats and puppies and other men, okay, but not women. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. She said it. That's Angel Tussie, T-U-C-C-Y. Uh, you know, it, it's so funny. You've got, like, some rules, and they're so specific. Okay, so do we have to have a rule for every gender? You know, is it children? Can it be your mother? Like, you know, if we're going to set the rules, then it, it begs to, you know, all these other questions. Do right. we have to have a rule for all of it, or is that it? End of, end of discussion and final. I don't think so. I'm just saying. I'm thinking if you have to have a rule that starts like that, well, they have probably have a book. Do you see the Knights Templar now? No. Because they didn't it's kiss women. It's a bad rule. Oh. That's right. Um, are, do you have nostophobia? Mm, I am. I, I have no idea what nostophobia, nostophobia is. Nostophobia is the fear of going home. No, I do not have the fear of going no, home. No, 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 no. No, all right, all right. I and, love going home. And finally, uh, in 1988, did you know that the Olympics included the sport of solo synchronized swimming? Solo? <laughs> synchronized. Solo synchronized. What are you synchronized to? How do you know if you're out of sync? What do you, yeah, what are you synchronized to? You should go you, back to the 1988 Olympics. I'm sure it's on the YouTube. 1988? Yeah. So. It's who, recent. Who was the idiot that did that? I don't know. Really, Solo. Synchronized swimming. You know, somebody got a gold isn't, medal. Isn't You're calling somebody an idiot like, who got a gold medal for solo synchronized swimming. I thought it was the thing that you do all together in a group. I the thought idiot that was a group is the one activity. who got the bronze. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't get in sync. Speaking of swimming, did you know that polar bears can swim 60 miles without stopping? 60 miles. That's impressive. In cold water. That's very right? impressive. That, 
those all those facts come from the book 1,339 quite interesting facts to make your jaw drop by lawn, uh, join <laughs> join by John Lloyd John Mitchison and James Harkin you can get your own copy and check out the veracity radio show is brought to you by SG Associates taking care of all of your merchant services um, they are incredible when oh. it comes to uh, merchant merchant services they saved us a ton of money a ton of money if you want to save a ton of money if you're doing credit card swiping and merchant services types of things 303 324-4430 again 303-324-4430 call Bruce and let him know Eric and Angel sent you we've got a fantastic show for you today I hope so. Absolutely. How you, how's your finger? Stop it. I'm just and don't asking. ask me to pull yours. Dang. She heard my, my lead in. Not my first time. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people... Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara. And all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lori Ann Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori is your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back-to-work needs. Call Lori today, 303-419-3415. That's 303-419-3415 or online at lorianncom.com. That's L-O-R-I-A-N-C-O-M-M dot com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Mark your calendars for October 1st for the unveiling of the brand new Extreme Customer Service Directory. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place to find companies offering the best in customer service. The new directory is the very best place to feature your company for more visibility. And the Extreme Customer Service Directory is the only place to fan brag, leave five-star reviews, promote your favorite companies, and share the revolution of kindness in business. The new site launches on October 1st. Take part in the excitement that comes by combining radio and internet marketing for the best in business. We're launching the new site on October 1st. Be sure to tell your friends. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark. Today at noon on KLZ 560. 
The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. No. No, no, no. How can you start on I don't want to do the. You know, there are certain things that when we start talking about them, I know that I am already outmatched. Right, I don't have either of these things. Eric, this is not about you. This is not about you. All right. But don't you want wish that you had bigger deals in less time yeah. and at the right profit margin? And a tall blonde. Okay, this is not about you. Okay. Again, we're talking about in your sales right. system. How about a powerful sales program that integrates... Discounting happens. That's the root cause of practice proposals or settling for meetings with non-decision makers. I love what you just said. Discipline and, and uh, good education. I mean, wow, that's exactly what we need. More of. And, uh, and, and But instead we get more whining and please uh, yeah. buy from me and my boss will Desperate. let me come back I if pay I the don't rent. do this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, and you know where that really starts? And this is what I love about emotional intelligence along with the consultative selling skills. It gives you a whole list diagnostic of performance challenges so the pipeline really isn't the problem is it it's the fact that you might lack the emotional intelligence skills of delayed gratification which means you must put in the work to get the reward okay all right so I'm you, just loving you at the moment really, absolutely by the way. <laughs> but yeah, me, me too and uh, that that's uh, but I'm brunette and I'm not blonde uh, well, that's okay you know it's, he's it's, like it's, here's a box of Clairol number five or whatever <laughs> are you married I'm kidding. You don't have to answer Apple. that. Uh, here, here we have to. Here, here's my question, though. You talk about skills, and you just named one of them, uh, the the discipline. What 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 are some other emotional skills that top sales producers demonstrate all the time? Well, one skill that comes to mind is assertiveness, and assertiveness in the EI world is the ability to state what you need nicely. Now, here's how it shows up affecting hard sales results. Right. You're at the prospect, uh, you're at the selling stage of budget, okay, whatever that looks like with all the different industries. Right. And you may say, hey, what have you set aside for this product, program, service, initiative? And you'll hear, I have no idea, just put something together. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Who's now the win sales this person goes along to get along, and they spend hours writing a proposal only to come back and have the person flip to the fifth page and say, this is too high. Right. Here's the fact. Okay. Your prospect had a budget. 
you just weren't assertive enough to get the range or the commitment to it. Follow up question. Uh, if you've got a, somebody who's assertive, and uh, in many cases, uh, I hear this from business women, uh, if I'm assertive, I'm considered um, not 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 nice. Right. Witchy. Yes. You know, I I think that might be more about emotional self awareness because I deal with a lot of really good businessmen yeah. and they're they're good negotiators. But you know what they want? Confidence and competence. I agree with that. And so assertiveness is really, again, showing up that way. Yeah. We tend to swing the pendulum then and become really soft and wishy-washy and kind of a flake. Well, it's called go along to get along. Mm. And the reason you go along to get along is sometimes you're worried about losing something. Right. And, you know, the fact of the matter is if I don't know if you've got any money and if you're willing and able and committed, and by the way, that's that's that needs to come from you, then again, I can get into those practice proposals. It's also the reason sometimes you don't get meetings at the right level of an organization because you do a win-loss analysis and you start seeing a trend and you know you should be speaking to this buying influence. So be assertive and state, hey, you know, where we do our best work is when we have conversations with this title, this title, and this title. How do we get those meetings set up? Okay, so Colleen, if somebody has not had any of the training or, you know, if they're kind of fresh and new or even, actually, I think more like old dog, new tricks, they've kind of just always done it this other way, how easy is it to turn that ship around and get them to change some of the their emotional I believe it starts first with making a decision mm. all right so we can go to all the goal setting programs we want etc make a decision and if lack of emotional intelligence is costing you enough then you make a decision to focus on it get some coaching on it study it so nothing happens without a decision and then your decision is backed up is what's your why and how bad do you want it because when I got started in sales training uh, 15, 16 years ago, I was terrible. I had been a product salesperson. I moved to Denver. I don't know anyone. I'm getting in the sales training business, selling consultative sales training, of which I know how to do none of it. EUI selling system in front of people. How do they get in touch with you, Colleen? Well, they can go to our website, and we have lots of great resources there, and that is salesleadershipdevelopment.com. We also have a book, Emotional Intelligence for Sales Success. That's in Barnes & Noble, and it's also obviously on Amazon. You owe it to yourself to pick up the book and then head right over to salesleadershipdevelopment.com and, and schedule some time with Colleen. Find out how, because you're losing money if you don't get this game. You absolutely are. Uh, Colleen, a final thought for us? You know what? Emotional intelligence can be improved. A lot of times people think, hey, this is what I was born with. This is the family I grew up with. And the fact is emotional intelligence can be improved with focus, commitment, and some outside mentoring. I feel improved already uh, because of all you the multi-syllabic multi words that have happened in the last couple of minutes. Uh, Colleen, thank you so much for being here. What a, what a privilege to have you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, folks, don't go anywhere because when we come back, we've got more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. You've done it yourself. You've put in a few keywords to search for something, and what comes up is nothing like what you're looking for. Thousands of responses, but nothing close to what you need. You try again, frustrated, you finally find it buried deep within the walls of the Internet. Don't do that to your potential customers. Make it easy. Make it Colorado SEO easy. Colorado SEO optimizes your keywords so customers can find you quickly. 
Optimize your website by contacting Colorado SEO. Search engine optimization the way you hoped it would be. ColoradoSEO.com. That's ColoradoSEO.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service, coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products, means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-781. 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with fan brag. And Friday, the Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune into the Experience Pros Radio Show, weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. You know, no, never. Yeah, <laughs> some days I start out exhausted, didn't catch up from the day before. Um, the day is always longer than I think it's going to be. Let's start over. Okay, you're, you're over scheduled. Well, no kidding, no kidding. And and I know it, and I'm really feeling it these days. Um, completely over scheduled, completely. I have said yes to way too many things, and I, you know, and because I'm all about balance and prioritizing and vision and I'm really struggling with it because I really want to do all the things that I'm saying yes to. Patty Johnson is your gal. She got here as soon as she could and she says take your day, your week, and your life back with these multiple tips. I, I, I really, yeah, this Ready? is good timing for me. All right. Yes, absolutely. Here, number one, okay. do not treat your calendar like it's a community feast. What? Your most precious, precious asset is your time. Don't allow others to control it by allowing open scheduling. Letting the you know what I'm not going to read this anymore. You know I think I schedule stuff on your calendar. Well, you do, and actually, and and you know because we're it's really our internal calendar, and I yep. get that. But the whole thing of it's a community feast. But there is something that happens on the you know on Wednesday, and something else happening on Thursday, yep. and something else happening on Friday, and something else happening on Saturday. For all these meetings. I really do love it when it all falls on one day. Yeah, sure. Because, I mean, I can hit and just visit, 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 and then go the, home, and, go be home and be done. Yeah. It's when it's when the Monday and the Tuesday and the Wednesday and, the, like, well, every day of the week okay, has so, something. Okay, so here's the deal. We need to know, is this meeting a, a real priority? Ask questions like, do I need to be there? What can be done by email? Can we wait until next week? Or 
let me have Eric give you a call. Now, I have gotten better about just meeting for the sake of meeting. Yeah. I do a lot more phone call meetings sure. and, and getting information done. One, we're not traveling. Way more efficient. It is. You can do what, what would take you an hour and a half out of your day to actually hold that meeting in person. You can do in, in 15 to 20 minutes on the phone. And I've gotten better at that. It's really more the events that I'm struggling with. Um, and everybody... You know, everybody who's hosting a seminar and a networking event and a workshop and a camp and a three-day workshop and... Yeah, yeah, it just it never ends. So if you're like me, uh, you probably, as soon as your feet hit the floor, or maybe even before your feet hit the floor uh, every morning, you check your phone, you check your emails, you do this, you do that, and, and so yeah, on. I'm actually pretty good about that. Are you? I don't actually check any of it till I get to work. Yeah, well, the, the advice is create bumpers on your work day. Set, decide when you're going to start and end your work day. Set alarms and then stick to it. All right, so I do that. I wait till I'm not checking my email at home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once I close down my laptop at the office, I don't open up again until I get back to to the studio. And so I have a little bit of that yeah. in there. Um, still feeling, still feeling overwhelmed. All right, so uh, when we moved uh, to step number three, and step number three is actually something that we practice. Uh, we talk a lot about here at the Experience Pros Radio Show, and we try to practice in, in the uh, in the office ourselves, and that's take more recess. You know, breaks recharge your brain. I don't have time for so you do have time. Don't have In time fact, for you don't have time not to. You know, for, if you're working on the computer for an hour, uh -huh. stand up, go out, take a walk, say hello to somebody in the office. Just give yourself a three to five minute. I can hmm. just lean back in my debt chair. No, you will fall people. asleep. Now, all right, there are, because of the way the office is, sometimes I do have to actually get up and move. Right. And go, yeah, all right. Yeah, just get up and walk around for a minute. I'm that's telling you, problem. that break will recharge your brain. It could be your problem. I don't think it that's could my be problem. part of the solution to your problem. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. um, plan for one hour a week and then act on it. Think what matters most this week. Is my time lined up to make that happen? You make a plan, put it in the calendar. That's something you do. Put it in the calendar. I do, and I right. kind of have it all set up. Yeah. Um, deliberate. But, okay, there's there are multiple people involved. Too in many this. variables. Too many. And so you've got your whole schedule, and then somebody has to reschedule. And that happens all the time. And so you're struggling around, and 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 it's the reschedule. Now, where do I put in the reschedule? Because I thought my little plan was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? Maybe this will help you. Okay. Build more prep time into your day. Prep? So, you know, you got your meetings, mm -hmm. but every meeting requires a, a reset. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're, okay, so you're done with your staff meeting, and that's done. Before your staff meeting, you had to set, set up for your staff meeting, and then you're done with that. Now you're going to go into your finance meeting, but before you do that, you have to pull out your spreadsheet. But many times what we do is we schedule these meetings back-to-back. -back. We walk in late and uh, ill-prepared. Prep. Uh, more prep, so more cushion, buffer in between. Your schedule does not have to be back-to-back. -back. In fact, you will do better if it's not. Okay, all right. So I think there's where my little challenge is, is I do a lot of just back-to-back, boom, 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 and right. no breathing in between. You are the queen of lists. I am. I love my lists. It's right. how I get stuff done. And if it's not on the list, it's on the calendar. You make a to-do list all the time. Well, do yeah. you make a to-done list? No, but I check off. You celebrate those accomplishments. I do. I do. I do. Right. I do. I do. I check off, and I love it when I'm getting stuff done. I love it when, um, yeah, I, it helps me see that my day is moving along, that I am being productive and not just busy. Um, I still have to come up with the, uh, you know, we had to do this several years ago. Like, who are we? Um, and Colleen kind of addressed this. You know, make a decision, and what's your vision? And making sure that that the activities we are involved with are moving our vision forward right. and not just filling the calendar, that community feast um, uh, on your calendar. And I get that. And I have, you know, and every now and then something comes along and you try it to see, okay, well, because I don't know, everybody else is talking, I've been personally invited, right. do I want to add this? But I do actually think I need to get a little tighter in making sure that it is moving our vision forward. Absolutely. And finally, this is not on the uh, article uh, that, that we have uh, been using for the inspiration of this conversation, but I think it is absolutely of paramount importance. Angel and I talk a lot about it, and that is do the D. The D? Yeah, delegate. Oh. Delegate. Well, you know, you want we, to be more productive. Yeah. Delegate it or dump it. 
There um, you go. I mean, all together. That's um, a double D. It might not even be. It might, might. It should not always be on your calendar. Should not be on your to-do list. And there are a lot of things that we do to keep ourselves busy, to avoid actually getting the real work done. Yeah. Um, and so, what are Kimberly Alexander talks about this? What are the two things you really need to focus on and get done in a week? And based on your job description, based on your revenue model, there are only a couple of things that really have to get done. Yep. And if there are uh, other pieces to it, outsource it, delegate it, or just dump it all together. Today was trash day at my house. Oh, yeah. Five trash cans of stuff. Five trash out. cans. And I have, my basement is filling up with stuff for donations. I am dumping, I am purging. And so the same as I do with my stuff around the house, I need to do also with my calendar. Thanks to Patty Johnson for uh, her inspiration on this conversation. We do appreciate her input. And uh, folks, this hour of the Experience Pros Radio Show has been brought to you by SG and Associates. SG and Associates. And I'll tell you what, if you are taking credit cards, and you're not using SG and Associates, you're probably leaving hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I was on really the table surprised. Every month. You take them your statements of your merchant services and how much you're spending, and they did a review and came back, and the numbers were astronomical. So different of what I was spending and what I could be saving when I work with SG. Every Associates. merchant services op uh, opportunity gives you that same thing. Let me take a look at your statements and whatever. We went with SG and Associates because they demonstrated their ability to save us hundreds and thousands of dollars every single month. We're so impressed. SG and Associates. Hundreds of thousands of dollars they saved. And it. thousands. Oh. <laughs> and thousands every month. Yes. <laughs> They're not saving us thousands every month. We're not Pretty spending Pretty close. That much. <laughs> well, you never know. 303-324-4430. 303-324-4430. Call Bruce. Tell him Angel and Eric sent you. We'll be back with more positive business talk in the state of real estate. And we're talking about the state of Colorado here on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. Two nine zero. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner. 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylons, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Gain your own insight into the leading cause of divorce, money. Pick up your copy of Couples Money at couplesmoney.com and discover you're not alone in your financial struggles. Couples Money is written by a married couple in the financial industry, Chris and Marlo Felton. They share their personal story of financial transformation and insights they've gained from working with thousands of couples. Couples Money, what every couple should know about money and relationships, is available at Amazon or at couplesmoney.com. 
get on the same page with your spouse with easy to follow concepts and action steps proven to work. Couples Money at couplesmoney.com. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. John Rush, today at 2 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Things are moving in the real estate uh, world. It is like jello, right? Like figuring out the real estate market, and then it shifts, and then it moves, which is why we don't do this without a professional. Do sure not happens. try this at home. Do not try this on your own. We've got in the studio with us today, we have Marty Reiswig with Good Fit Homes. You can find them on Facebook, facebook.com slash Homes. He's got incredible experience, award-winning customers rave and rave about what he is doing but I'll tell you what when it comes to professionalism and making sure you're getting top dollar when you sell your home Marty is the guy Marty welcome to the experience pros radio show thanks for having me again guys oh very very nice uh, what's going on in the war world of real estate man it's all upside down again you know what it's absolutely crazy guys uh, the, the mainstream media is typically about six months behind so everybody's just now kind of figuring out that hey I can sell my house for a lot more yada 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 um, I do have some stabilizing news for you, okay? Oh, so some yeah. people would say, oh, that's bad news, right? You're, <laughs> you're now telling me that the market's terrible. No, here's what's happening. So you know when you take off in a car race, right? You go from absolutely zero to as fast as you possibly can. You've been driving next to Angel? And at some point, <laughs> at some point, the caution flag comes out and people yeah. start getting a little nervous. So let's, let's slow back down so we don't get any more crashes. Right. We basically, the, the marketplace hit a caution flag uh, about last month um, so so this last month versus a year ago the same month right uh, we're actually back down to um, selling homes a little bit slower whose fault is it <laughs> I don't I don't want to say this is for radio Eric's okay. like, Who do I want to it's your right. fault Eric it's oh, your it always fault. is <laughs> so we're actually so selling homes a little bit slower but it's still pretty quick the average days on market is 23 days so that's still fast right we're still going at a healthy you know 60 miles an hour right you know it's so funny Marty because you hear these stories of you know you know it sold the same day it went on the market or you know on the market less than a week and so you you hear these stories and you think and people are paying paying more than asking price and so we get in our head that that's going to be our exact same experience mm -hmm. and yet there's so many variables to it but we're like I want that I want exactly that right but yet I don't want to play the same way that they played right does that right. make sense well in every situation is different um, I recently sold a home uh, could have sold it in four hours but I like to hold homes on the market for four if you accept all those offers and, and then have them compete. So we created a kind of an auction effect. So on that particular house, we priced it real low. The, the gal just really wanted to, you know, she was a motivated seller. And so we were able to sell it really, really fast. But she was in the heart of the market. The bread and butter, three bedroom, two bath. She had a finished basement with a pool table. It was really a fantastic deal. So it went fast. Sure. Right? But you take that same... Uh, desire to sell quickly, but you happen to have a $500,000 home, you're not going to sell that same home in three or four days anymore. You're probably right. going to sell it in three or four weeks. So when I say the average days on market is 23, that's taking the entire market average. Right. 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 Um, and also, just so you know, prices have finally slowed back down. Mm. Um, and I say slowed, they're not. Um, they're not actually going down, they're just slowing down. So homes are actually selling for only 1.4% more than they were this time last year. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. So, so it's just kind of stabilizing, guys. It's which stabilizing. is really 
I, you know, I don't know. I, I guess it just depends on where, what side of the fence that you are on when it comes to stabilizing and slowing down. But it seems a little more sustainable when it's like That's kind of the right. tortoise and the hare, you know. Well, for those of us that have been around in the real estate market since 2006, you know, six, seven, eight, we all saw what happens when the market goes too fast for too long. Mm. Uh, people were trying to flip and sell houses too fast. Uh, you know, the, the mortgage industry was not regulated. There was just nothing that they could do to, to slow it down. And so now uh, the market is a lot more stable. If you're looking to buy and sell right now, it's not going to be quite as frenetic as it was, you know, six, eight weeks ago. All right. All right. So what do we need to know? How do we, how do we proceed from, from here? Uh, well, you, what you need to know is that uh, you can call me anytime. You can call me right on your cell phone. I'll answer whatever economic uh, real estate questions you have. But most importantly, I can tell you what your house is worth. If you are interested in selling a house, uh, you know, a lot of people just send you a CMA and say, hey, look, here, all, all your neighbors. Uh, whoa, 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 Mr. What's a CMA? Right? They'll, they'll, Country Music Award. They'll send you a. I can't uh, wait for somebody to send me a CMA. <laughs> right? Do I get to wear a big dress? And I get to sing. They'll send you a report, basically showing you what your house is worth. Is that doesn't tell the full comparative market analysis. Got it. Okay, gotcha. It, it doesn't tell you the whole story. What you may or may not know is how much you're going to pay in realtor fees, title fees, everything else that goes along with it. So we do a net sheet for you to tell you exactly what you'll actually walk away with at the end. Oh. All um, right. Because there are a lot of variables. There's a lot of moving parts oh, to my it. Goodness. Absolutely. All right. Now, everybody, it seems, you know, we all know a realtor. Mm -hmm. Like, we all, you know, you throw a rock and you land on somebody. If I don't know one personally, my friend does, my, my relative is one. Sure. Um, you know, and, and it's, an, it's a very, it's, a, it's emotional to make that transaction, and it's a huge investment. How do you how do you sidestep maybe somebody who might be a relative and say I mm -hmm. I want to go with Marty because I actually know he's gonna yeah yeah this is a tough one I run into this a lot uh -huh. uh, and so what I've what I've heard is a problem is when somebody hires a, a family member and they don't end up doing a very good job for them how right. do you, how do you look them in the eye at Thanksgiving and Christmas and, yeah. and know that you actually lost five to ten grand because you used Ugh. your you know, and and it happens, or friend, yeah. or you know they didn't market the house, or they really you know they only listed it, but they didn't really go out and do any like. There's so many pieces absolutely, to absolutely. it. So you know what I would recommend? I'd say, look, just couch it in, I want to save this relationship. Hmm. I don't want to do any business with family and friends because what if things go south? Hmm. I value you and our relationship more than one transaction. So I'm going to hire Marty Risewick because he gets it done. The team is always available. They're going to do a fantastic job. The other question you've always got to ask your friend or family member realtor is how many deals have you done this last month? How many deals have you done the last year? And how many deals have you done the last three years? Right. Oh, how many deals have you done? Yeah, not just how interested are you or how much do you like houses. <laughs> or or how much do you want my five thousand dollars or whatever. <laughs> right. Because that's really what it boils down to is is you know, they're they're bidding for keeping the money in the family, if you will. Yep. Uh so a well, good, good solid advice. So that's there. a good yeah. question to ask. Right? For us to ask no matter who we're talking well, to, right? It's just like anything else, guys. If you were having somebody put in a brand new kitchen in your home, would you want somebody who does that part-time or someone who does it all day, every day with a fantastic crew? Smart money is on all time, every day, fantastic crew. Right. This all right. like Good Fit Homes. I hear the good Fit Homes. You can right. find them at on Facebook at facebook.com slash goodfithomes. He's going to make sure he gets a good fit with your new home. Um, do you have an Experience Pro special offer, Marty? <laughs> I didn't, but I can make up one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was in, it's, come, it's in my little bio here, too. <laughs> you always come bearing some special gift. Okay, all right. How about this? So for today only, if you call me today and we sell your house before today. Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> we sell your house before Christmas, uh, at closing, I'll give you 500 bucks cash. Oh, that's a good deal. Ooh, and Christmas if, money. If yep. you call Marty today, you're going to sell your home by before Christmas. I'm just thinking. I mean, I, 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 he can't say <laughs> well, that. If I it's can. ready. Right. You know, that's there right. might have to, be, right, might have to do some things what to get it ready. What number do we call? Give me a call on my personal cell phone. If you're on a cell phone, you can actually dial star star good fit. Uh, or you can just call my phone number at 720-891-9000. Do that again. 720-891-9000. 9000 It's a $500 phone call right there. Or a fancy star star good fit so um, with, with your smartphone. You know, give, 
if you're on the fence, if you're thinking about it, is this the time? How much is my home worth? You know, You've got a full resource behind you. Absolutely. And guys, I want to tell you, I've been helping a lot of seniors lately. Uh, they're transitioning. Uh, we have a very large aging population. Sure. And a lot of folks are just tired of maintaining a home, dealing with everything. But it looks overwhelming. They look around. They see all of their personal property. They don't know the first thing to do to fix up their house, to sell it. And if they do know what to do, they, they see it as very overwhelming. And um, I just want to let you know I've got a five-step program. We walk through people through this program that gets them out of their current home into the assisted living uh, place of their choice, and we become the one-stop shop, the one contact. Just that and connected. We, absolutely. Yeah. We, we have somebody who does the estate sale for them. We have somebody who does all the carpet and flooring and paint and cleaning and all of that. We even have a Holloway crew that we can call. Now, granted, that's going to come out of your pocket to do all of those things, but frankly, uh, that's such a peace of mind to know that we do this all the time. We go back to the premise. Who do you want? The guy that's going to be doing it all day, every day, and, and uh, has the expert crew to take care of it. That's Marty Reiswick with Good Fit Homes on Facebook. Take a look, facebook.com forward slash Good Fit Homes. Marty, your phone number one more time. That's 720-891-9000. You're a rock star, man. Thanks for being a part of the show and a part of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Thank you. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio network the experience pros are here to help you get your business right to learn more visit experiencepros.com attention business owners if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid riviera finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow let them help their process is simple and no debt is created riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706 or visit rivierafinance.com. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them. It's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Grassroots Radio Colorado with Chris Cook this afternoon at 5 on KLZ 560. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day. 
from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Shing! Shing! Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. We do appreciate you for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. This is what we call positive business talk. Think about that. Positive business talk. All right. And it doesn't mean that it's always happy, happy, but we're looking for, okay, how can we learn from this? What can we do with this? How can we make it better instead of just sitting on the fence and whining? It decrease that negativity, right? That's right. what it's all about. And uh, so I came across an article that I thought maybe you would be interested in. Uh, Patty Onderko is her name that wrote this article. And uh, she says there's lots of ways to say no to negativity. So here are some of them. One of them them, set reasonable goals. If you want to avoid the negativity, then don't set yourself up for failure. Set reasonable goals and achieve them. Okay, but sometimes it doesn't happen the way you think it's going to happen. In fact, rarely I might set the goal of what I want to achieve, but again, I'm, I'm not the only factor there. And so, All right, so, so let, me, let me break okay. this down. Because right. uh, if, if, if you argue with this, oh. <laughs> this may turn into an argumentative segment. <laughs> And it really isn't intended to. Okay. So uh, setting a reasonable goal. Let's give you an example. I want to write a new book, right? Okay. Yes. I don't have to write that book in a weekend. But, you know, if I set a reasonable goal of writing one or two pages a day, that's a reasonable goal. And I can achieve that. And if I don't achieve it, I don't have to go, oh, I just messed up my whole goal. No, it's my just whole, a couple yeah. of pages. The whole world is against Relax. me. I didn't finish my book. Okay. All right. Reasonable. All right. What you really can do. Celebrate the baby steps There's along the way. There's a side on the other side of that. Okay. I like that. Okay. Now, okay. now we're agreeing. All right. Let's see what happens next time. Turn your problems into challenges. Are you a don't, don't, don't look at me like that. See, I knew it was coming to me. I knew it. Well, you know what? And and really, challenges and our problems, challenges, opportunities, things we can learn from, right? Things we can do different. Um, if we are having a problem, if we are late for work every day, here's an opportunity to maybe find a new route. Maybe get up a few minutes earlier. Right. Uh, make an adjustment into you know prepping the night before for some of those things, not leaving everything um, to do in the morning. You know, I, I always, uh, when I worked uh, for that company out of Star, uh, out of a Seattle Starbucks, um, they always called problems opportunities. Okay. You know, there are opportunities sure. for, for, for learning. So maybe uh, we could say turn problems into opportunities. Same kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's 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 your self talk. It's the way that you turn your head around and say this is a, a different way of looking at the same issue. And it really is. It is a perspective. Right. You can choose to say this all happens to you. It is. I always have bad luck. It all you know bad things always happen to me. Or are you, do you just always you know press the snooze button 20 times and wait till the morning to iron your clothes and have to stop for gas on the way to work? Wait, and, no, wait a minute. What's the matter with doing your clothes in the morning? Well, you do it, but you're on time, so it's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, it's, right. it's for, you know, when you look at the people that are having issues, well, what else is going on that yeah. you can, the things that you can control? It's an opportunity for me to look at the wrinkles in daylight, uh, which I like. Um this is something that I had to learn to do. Reset your default answer. There are people who walk, and I was one of them. I, I'll, I'll confess, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there are people who walk around every day, and when stuff happens, you, you're just looking for a way to say, you know what, they did that to me. They, you know, that's their fault. They, it, just blaming somebody else or or shifting the, uh, the the thing in a negative way. How often have you started to ask somebody a question, and they finish your sentence? Or already have an answer before you even get the whole thing out, and it's like, but wait a minute, I I didn't even finish asking. You really aren't listening to me, um, and and you're not, and, and it's very frustrating. And so ha rather than having a default 
answer, you know, having that pause where you actually are listening and taking in what somebody's saying to you, what somebody's asking of you. Right. And instead of just the immediate jump to a conclusion, like pay attention to what that person is, is asking of you. Right. Um, now, but there are sometimes, like there are certain people that, you know, they come around and they're, they, you have a, ha a pattern, a previous pattern. Sure. So, you know, you don't answer, what are you doing on Saturday? You don't answer that question until you know why they're asking. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's just wisdom. <laughs> that's just smart. We, yeah, okay. Uh, the next one, wake up on the right side of the bed. Do uh, something positive on the first thing that you do. Make sure that it's positive. Uh, you know, here, here's uh, what, what the author suggests. Uh, three morning questions. You ready? All right. What am I excited about doing today? Who okay. can I encourage or serve today? And what am I grateful for? Ooh, say those three again. All right, so number one, what am I excited about doing today? There, okay, you you yeah. looked at your calendar. You know what's going on. You know what's happening. What am I excited about doing today? Having that, like, get, that'll get you out of bed. Right. Right? What am I excited about? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the, the next thing is, who can I encourage or serve today? And the, the, the sub note is, get the focus off yourself. I say, forget random acts of kindness. Exercise intentional acts of kindness. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And then finally, what am I grateful for? Make a list. Uh, just name a couple of things that you're grateful for. and uh, You know, just the fact that you woke up. You have electricity. You have a job. There's hot water. You have people that are expecting you or works. counting on you. Yeah. There's a lot right. to be grateful for. And and for some of us who like to snuggle in and stay in bed just a little bit longer. Grateful for the warm covers. Um, but it helps us. You know, sometimes I need a little extra motivation to, to get up and get going. Absolutely. Uh, and finally, um, detox from bad news. There are, I mean, there's bad news coming at you, you whether it's on media or people, books you're reading, stuff you're watching on television, things you're listening to even on the radio. If, I, you know, it, once you've heard it, you can't unhear it. If there's stuff that makes you cranky, uh, what's the old uh, G-I-G-O, garbage in, garbage out? Yeah. You don't have to put that in. You don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to. So stop. Stop it. Stop it. And find something, put something positive in instead. Um, do that rinse, lather, repeat over and over again. Surround yourself with positive people, people that lift you up, that encourage you, even challenge you, but the challenge is an opportunity. But if it's just, if it just adds to making your life grumpy, avoid it. You don't have to participate. Absolutely. And, you know, so there you have it, a bunch of different uh, uh, ways to say no to negativity, to say yes to positivity. I think it's such an important thing, and it makes all the difference in the world. Of course, you're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, and so you already know that because this is the home, the original home of positive you business know, talk. But you have to put it in. You have to be intentional about eliminating the negativity. Absolutely. Um, it just, it eats at us. It eats at our soul. It, it. It gets involved in relationships. It gets involved in your ability to perform at work, to be a you know better boss, employee, friend, all of it. All of it. Um, and so we have to combat it. We really do. And for all the negativity that comes in, we have to be very intentional about the amount of positivity that comes in. You bet. This hour of the Experience Pros Radio Show has been brought to you by SG and Associates. SG-Associates.com. That's SG dash associates.com they're taking all your uh, merchant account services and saving you money they do a fantastic job for us I was really surprised I was kind of a merchant junkie for a while give them a call at 303-324-4430 we'll be back after these messages this is time for our station ID remember to do business with the people who do business with the pros thanks for listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show the most positive business talk show in America this has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? The revolution. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560.
field guide to the gross emitter. A gross emitter is a car that spews out offensive, nauseating exhaust smoke at a high rate, also known as a junker, rattle trap, rust bucket, heat. A single gross emitter can pollute 100 times more than a new car. Why go through all the inconvenience of selling or trading in your gross emitter? After all, that old car will just continue to grossly emit. It's so much easier for you to simply donate your polluting clunker to the nonprofit Clear the Air Foundation. Your unpleasant, odiferous hunk of junk will be crushed and recycled, so its acrid exhaust will never again darken our skies or our lungs. That way, we can all breathe a bit easier. <sighs> to learn how to make gross emitters an endangered species, visit ClearTheAirFoundation.org. You may qualify for a tax deduction as well. That's ClearTheAirFoundation.org, an initiative of the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association, aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver, and online streaming at klz560radio.com. This is KLZ 560, Freedom, Liberty, Truth. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John DeMaster. America's armed forces began strikes against ISIL targets in Syria. President Obama on the south lawn of the White House, Marine One directly behind him, addressing the nation on the 22 strikes overnight against ISIS in Syria. Unleashing bombs on ISIS terrorists in Syria. President Obama speaking from the White House, addressing the situation before he heads north to the United Nations in New York City. Last night we also took strikes to disrupt plotting against the United States and our allies by seasoned al-Qaeda operatives in Syria who are known as the Khorasan Group. And once again, it must be clear to anyone who would plot against America and try to do Americans harm that we will not tolerate safe havens for terrorists who threaten our people. A North African jihadist group associated with ISIS now threatening to kill a Frenchman it kidnapped in Algeria. This is news it's on the Blaze Radio Network. Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 50-plus job sites, including Craigslist, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. No juggling emails or calls to your office. Quickly screen candidates, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. You've been listening to The Blaze Radio News on KOZ 560. Wake up with Randy Corcoran. Early mornings at 5. On KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of Lists That Save My Business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. Are you Gambrinus? Excuse me? Gambrinus. Brunette. Brunette. The color is brunette. Oh, it's not a color. Well, I guess it could be. Gambrinus means being full of beer. <laughs> Are you Gambrinus? Who's going to say that? I'm Gambrinus. Full of beer? I'm, I'm not Gambrinus. Like, but, mm. you know, and how, how full of beer do you have to be before you're Gambrinus? Well, Is that, you're not drunk. Thank you for asking. Uh, because did you know that hops, that's, uh, that's the main ingredient in beer, uh-huh. uh, they contain antioxidants. Okay, but so it's not a person isn't gambrinous. No, no, no. It's a no. It's a thing. No. Like a pie or uh-uh. a bread, beer bread. No. 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 Gambrinous is being full of beer. You would be gambrinous if you were full of beer. A person would be gambrinous? Yes. 
Hops contain antioxidants, but you'd have to drink 118 gallons of beer every day in order to see any health benefit. Been on the wrong diet. <laughs> no idea. You won't be able to walk, but man, you won't have any free radicals. Do you know that it is possible to drink, well, maybe not 118 gallons, but did you know that French wrestler, you know Andre the Giant? Sure. He's, uh, he, he, that's my favorite movie, that, that uh, Princess Bride one. I'm like, which one? Was he only in one movie? Andre, well, pretty much. Uh, Andre the Giant. Okay. Um, I think he was in a, more than one. Anybody want a peanut? Um, French wrestler Andre the Giant once drank 119 beers in six hours. Do you know what he said after that? Burped. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Thanks for getting that. Appreciate oh. that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a breastfeeding woman who was alive in 1876, the Munich Health Department ruled that breastfeeding women only need to drink two pints of beer a day. Uh, so, so slow down, ladies. Because you're pregnant, you only need in 1876 need to drink. Right. Okay. All right. So this is like beer facts. We, we we could change the the whole tone of it and talk about Edgar Allan Poe. You know the Raven, that that poem that we all had to learn in high school. Okay. Well, it was originally going to be about a talking parrot. Mm-hmm. A talking parrot. He started writing it a long long time ago, and uh, but that, too many beers, and it turned into no no no. You know no. No, it has nothing to do well, with the, the beers. Well, the Raven was originally going to be about a talking parrot, but he started writing it, and then he decided, you know what? Never more. Well, that was great. That was good. We'll be back after the messages. By the way, all of these interesting facts, 1,339 of them, uh, can be found in the book called 1,339 Quite Interesting Facts to Make Your Jaw Drop. Check out the veracity of these and all the fa funny little quotes that we make on the front side of the, the show at QI.com. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366. Go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Mark your calendars for October 1st for the unveiling of the brand new Extreme Customer Service Directory. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place to find companies offering the best in customer service. The new directory is the very best place to feature your company for more visibility. And the Extreme Customer Service Directory is the only place to fan brag, leave five-star reviews, promote your favorite companies, and share the revolution of kindness in business. The new site launches on October 1st. Take part in the excitement for the best in business. We're launching the new site on October 1st. Be sure to tell your friends. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lori Ann Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori is your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back-to-work needs. Call Lori today, 303-419-3415 or online at lorianncom.com. That's L-O-R-I-A-N-C-O-M-M dot com. 
Hi ladies, this is Angel and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year and ever since then I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara and all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the experience pros. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. In our first hour, we talked a little bit about problems, talking about how we could change those to challenges or opportunities and whatnot, but I thought maybe we'd come back and address how to reframe the problem or opportunity all together. Ooh, all together. All together. Dump it off the dump it and start with a whole new perspective you and bet. fresh. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, it's like cleaning out, getting rid of everything yes. and only putting back the stuff that you can really use. That's exactly right. And, and, and here's what I'm going to suggest to you folks. Um, and now don't let this get out. This is a secret here, okay? A secret? Yeah. What's the secret? I know Socrates. Okay, so we all... No, no, no. No, no, we did not. We all took a vacation on that day. All right, okay, so what, what's your the point? The Socratic method will help us get a grip on our, uh, on our problems. How? You know, the Socratic method is uh, solving problems by asking questions. I thought it was how to get three yeses. No. No? No. Oh. That's something different. The Socratic method is uh, finding the solutions oh, to like, answers by asking questions. So why it's, is that important? Exactly. And then why is that important? That's the same question, but yes. But then you keep digging. Right. Because, you know, we would say, right. why is it important for me to, to look at this differently? You know, so that way I get a new perspective. Okay, why is that important? Well, it's let's... Like, stop being angry. Well, why is that important? Let, 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 let's be a little more two- or three-dimensional and come up with an, uh, a couple of questions that we can ask that will help us solve every problem. Are you ready? Ready. All right. What am I trying to achieve by solving this problem? What am I, again, well, that you got that's the why is this important, oh, right? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay, so, you know, if we're thinking about uh, what, what's a problem you've recently tried to solve? Uh, I'm trying to find a tall blonde that will go out with me. How's that working for me? Well, okay, I, have I think to we ask should. Does anybody question, else have a new problem? Uh, something am I that trying isn't to achieve by solving this problem? Same problem that Eric has had repeatedly over and over again. I think it's time you for you to move on. You asked a question and oh. I answered okay, it. All right. Aristotle. All right. Okay. So, um, why, Eric, are you trying to solve this tall blonde problem? Well, because I I want one and I don't have one. Okay. Can we have something maybe a little bit more deeper, a little more? significant I want one and I don't have one really you sound like it's you're right too down to the basic element of I that. want one and I don't have one you know it's what? not like it's like a brand new McDonald I, Volvo I, I got, now there's a question you can tell I want, want one. one and I don't have yeah. one yeah this we're talking about a a human being, somebody in a relationship, and something a little more deeper, significant. This is why you don't have one. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, let's go about cars. Okay. All right. All right. I so, want one. I don't have one. That's a good <laughs> answer right, right there. <laughs> and we'll talk to uh, to the GM over at McDonald Volvo here in a, in a few minutes. But but before we get to because I want one and I don't have one. Right. All, All right. right. Okay. I, what I got to convince them is is that we need to put our faces on it. I know we do. We want we want our faces on yeah. the uh, on, on, not our faces, but the branding of the radio show. Okay, so so another question perhaps might be Eric, yeah. um, what what problems have you actually brought? What 
self-imposed have you brought what are to you this talking about? to this problem? Because there are you've got the problem, but you actually bring on more problems. I think we to do that imaginarily. I mm -hmm. think we bring a lot of head trash to our problems, and we think it's so big and great and massive. And what is it you say? Stop it. Well, okay, so if you're solving a problem and, and you're thinking about what is the, the things that I have imposed upon this, maybe I created the problem in the first place, um, you know, you and your dating, well, that's true, you did create this problem in the first place, um, but do we have limiting beliefs that are keeping us from actually solving it? I think the answer is yes. Uh, you know, or habits that are keeping us from moving forward. Right. Um, and so what if you think is true? just really isn't true anymore. What if you really... Maybe I'm not blocking love by leaving my laundry unfolded on the bed, end of my bed. Maybe you're not. And perhaps there are. there is a, a woman in your sphere of influence that, just, that is there and you just aren't looking for because you, you're blocking it. Could it be possible? Mm -hmm. Here's number three, uh, reframing those problems with questions. How can I break the big problem into five smaller ones? Five? Uh, well, sure, why not? I mean, as long as you're going from that, uh, from a tall blonde, you might as well go to a short redhead, short brunette, short, short, uh, what? Short. When they said five smaller ones, doesn't mean replace your one relationship with five flings. You don't know that. All right. We should explore. We should explore. We should ask more questions. I don't think we are going to be playing. All right. Uh, what if I don't fix this problem and I just choose to move on? Well, can you do that? Do you remember the day that, because your problem was your old phone, and you would complain oh, yeah. about your phone and complain about your phone, and he wouldn't go get the <laughs> new phone. And You rolled and down the window and said, throw it out the window. Throw it out the window. Like, no. Okay, but sometimes the problem is really in our head. Right, the bigger the problem, a lot of times it happens in our head. You know, all the what ifs and the and the drama happens in our head. But what if, what if you just moved on? We had somebody who had an issue one time, and they wanted to do this big media PR to recover from this negative thing that in their head was this huge thing. And after reviewing it and talking with him and learning all about it, we said, you know what? What if you just ignored it and just like moved on? And didn't you know continue to bring it up? Freedom. And it was. Yeah. And within within even a couple of days, it just went away. Like the problem is because we keep talking about it, we keep bringing it up, we keep saying it's a problem, but really it's only a problem in your head. Yeah. You could just move on. And uh, the fifth and final uh, way to reframe your problem with a question. Um, <laughs> no, no, that can't be right. According to this article, this has got to be wrong. It's Jason be a typo. Dorsey says, "Ask yourself, what if I'm the problem?" That's ridiculous. Yeah, what if it's you? And you know, so give it. What if you gave it the problem to three other people, and you discover they're going to solve it in ways you never even considered? Like it just really isn't a big deal. So you know, you and your your tall blonde. Well, what if you just ask this person out? Like that's what that person would do. Oh, have you ever thought of that? Wait, I'm supposed to do what? Yeah, yeah. What if I am the problem? You, you probably are. And here's, you know, and here's, here's a lot of it. Is we are, we are the biggest hindrance, the biggest stone wall that's keeping us from achieving and solving whatever it is right in front of us yeah. most of the time. The drama happens in our head. The bad stuff isn't really in our way. There really is an opportunity. There really is a resource. There is really is a way around the obstacle. And if you can't find it, ask somebody else. And and if you have to just drop it and let it go, and maybe there wasn't really a problem in the first place. And here's where I see this really play out so often, is in relationships. Uh, in com you know, people think absolutely. that person is mad at me. And then they go and they address it and discover that person wasn't mad at you. Whoops. They were just, you know, in their own head. They yep. were late for work. That's why they didn't stop and smile and say hi to you on the way down the hall. It has nothing to do with you. Socratic method. Ask questions to solve your problems. Reframe those problems and make it positive. But if your problem is yeah, you, don't you a car. want a car and right. you want one and you don't have one, our next business tip after this break is going to come to you from McDonald Volvo. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money, and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need 
now. Where to go when the bank says no. Available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.co. US. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid, with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety solved Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. coloradoseo.com, coloradoseo.com or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. If you have an old car that spews out stinky exhaust smoke, donate it to the Clear the Air Foundation. Learn more at cleartheairfoundation.org. Sponsored by the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association and aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Dana Lash, after Grassroots Radio Colorado on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Maybe you can drive my car, and maybe I love you. Beep, 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 beep yeah. yeah! Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Very nice to have you along with us. It's time for business tips and insights. You know what that means. We get to talk to Will Routon, the general manager of McDonald Volvo. You can look them up online at McDonaldVolvo.com, where right now online they've got a $5,000 off special. You want one and you don't have one? Well, go get one. Will, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Hey, guys. How you doing? Will, we're doing fantastic. What's going on in your world? You know, just, uh, just sitting here this morning reviewing uh, some positive results from uh, people's surveys that they got. You know, you buy a new car and... You get a uh, CSI results survey emailed to you, and it's uh, everybody's, uh, you know, objective view to sit there and tell us what they really think. And um, I was just really pleased to come in this morning and read some of these great comments. I okay. love yeah, that. So and I watched that television show, too. <laughs> tell us, well, what do they really think? What kind of things are they saying? Oh, I'm looking at uh, some of them right here. It says, the lack of pressure made my car buying experience top of the line. Oh. And this one says... Amen. Really, I found all the employees to be very friendly and helpful. It's nice to experience great customer service. And so the customers said they were great to work with and followed through in what they promised. So, wow. You know, uh, Will, I, I, I know that this is not going to come as a shock to you, but uh, that is not always the case when uh, automotive dealers are the one receiving the, uh, the, the surveys. No, no, it's not. You know, and, and to be you know perfectly frank, it, it's just not every single customer's experience either. Sometimes you get the opportunity to 
to extend good customer service when things don't exactly go uh, as planned. And uh, I've got a couple of those situations this week where somebody had a, a poor experience with an older employee who's not even here anymore, mm. but now, uh, you know, they, they weren't satisfied with their purchase. They, they wish they would have done something else. And uh, to get those kind of people out of that bad situation and into something better um, makes them a, a believer in what we do. Well, and you will be a believer when you check out McDonald Volvo, and you know, and I think we all have had a bad experience with anything, sure. in, in in anything at all. But it doesn't mean we'll never do it again, or never try it again, or give somebody else a new opportunity. And frankly, it's an opportunity for uh, the, the company, in this case McDonald's Volvo, to, to make right. And we've discovered, and this is, uh, this is scientifically demonstrated over and over and over again, that when given the opportunity to make something wrong go right, uh, you will develop loyalty like none other. Now, the moral of the story, Will, is not to go screw stuff up so you can fix it, right? <laughs> right, exactly. No, but when you are given the opportunity to, to step up and own it, like it's your own deal. And, and, you know, it goes back to what I tell everybody uh, who I come across. But I got into this business 16 years ago to try for the kind of experience that I would want, um, the kind of experience I would feel comfortable sending my daughter or my mother into. And uh, and, and that's what I come to work every day, is to try to deliver that to, to my guests. Okay, if somebody is kind of in the market for a car today, why a Volvo today, Will? You know, it, it's, it's never been a more exciting time for Volvo. Um, Volvo is... Uh, undergoing a lot of changes globally, a lot of new products on the horizon. Um, it, there's so many sa standard safety features that come with Volvo that you, you won't even find in so many other cars and that other cars have only because Volvo created them. Can you Volvo. give me an example of what, what maybe one of those or a couple of those are? Let's talk about the city safety. So there's a feature that's standard on all new Volvos, has been for the last couple of years, that if you're under 30 miles an hour, there's a little laser that's sitting there reading the cars and stuff in front of you. And if you happen to look down at your text message, which Stop you it. do, or you know, take a drink of coffee, and that guy in front of you slams on your brakes, uh, you're not going to hit him because the car is going to slam on for you. Standard feature. Wow. Yeah. And lo city safety? City safety. Look it up. Volvo City Safety. Yes. It's one of the coolest features that we have, and it's been standard for a couple of years. You know, and, and that's just the way that it is. Folks, we want you to know that we, we're not just uh, talking to Will because he's, he's uh, doing a commercial here or whatnot. We know Will Routon. We know McDonald Volvo is going to take great care of you. That's why they're members of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. That's why their voice is here on the Experience Pros radio show. Will, give some contact information, will you, please? Absolutely. Feel free to reach out to me directly. Will Routon. I'm the general manager at McDonald Volvo. My direct line to my desk is 303-738- Four eight zero three. One more time, that phone number, Will. 303-738-4803. Make sure when you walk into McDonald Volvo that you ask to see Will, the general manager. He wants to talk with you. Some great specials on their website as well, McDonaldVolvo.com. Um, love hearing about some of these standard safety features. We knew that Volvo was a safe car. Well, we're going to learn just how safe, uh, with safe. our weekly with our weekly tips here from Will. Will, thanks for the call today. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Absolutely. That's uh, one more time. Will Routon from McDonaldVolvo.com. Hey, uh, you ever think about working other? Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe oh, I, Wow. Uh, that happened fast. Okay. Well, uh, so you several Explain yourself, dearie. I should. Several years ago, um, my husband was starting his his company and he actually took me out to dinner uh, or maybe he took me out for coffee and said, "Angel, I would like you to come and work for me." Oh. Um, you know, and do some of the things and you know, kind of gave me a, a list of things that I could do to help him grow grow his company. And and I took his hand and I looked him in the eye and Darling, I love you, but I want to be your wife. I oh. don't want I yeah. don't want to bring our work home from I'm not that girl yeah. that I just want to talk about work all of the time. Now I know some couples that are really strong couples. They work really well together. They've got great balance and great relationship. I just knew for me, I can't homeschool my kids and I can't work with my husband. All right. So, uh, Angel aside, mm -hmm. uh, there are many people, and I was one of them many, many years ago, uh, that chose to work with your significant other, my significant other. Uh, chose to work with my husband. No, no, no. no well, yes. No, but, no, 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 that wasn't yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> but, but no, uh, no, I, I chose to work with my now ex-wife, um, and for many, many years, it worked out very, very well, and then in the end, yeah, not so well. Uh, but, okay, so but let's just say 
Because it's, it's a good idea, right? I mean, it, it seems kind of handy at the time. It can be. You Here's can share person. expenses. You can uh, minimize uh, issues and whatnot. But here's the thing. Three real you get quick... to share the same paycheck. Three quick rules. You do that anyways. Or, or just surrender it. That's or just, the, I was going to say, it's surrender. one paycheck. It's a surrender of the paycheck is <laughs> yeah. what that is. Um, but three quick rules. If you must work with your uh, significant other, be successful in doing these three things. Number one, separate the home and the work. Just like Angel said, I want to be your wife. I don't want to be uh, your, your boss or you be my boss or whatever. You separate when your office is at your house, it's easy to blur those lines, but you've got to make timetables that say, from this point to this point, we're doing the work, and from this point to this point, we're doing the loving. No. Okay? okay. I mean, it's just important. Sure. Uh, number two, at all times, maintain respect. This is one of the ones that significant others, they, they fall into the category, and I don't know why we always hurt the ones we love the most, but you know something? Uh, you must be respectful at all all times. Yeah, that's hard to do under stressful situations. You know each other so well, yeah. and you know the hot buttons. You know, you know their weaknesses. You know their right. hot buttons, and you push them when you're stressed too. Yeah. Um, and you know, and some different things that that we've learned to do. But I will tell you what: you'd rather you want to ma maintain the the marriage in the long run. I mean, oh. That's what you're saving. The business is secondary. You wanna you wanna maintain and save the marriage first. Way way more important. And finally, uh, stay strong. Uh, and what I mean by that is that you uh, you know your strengths and you know your significant other's strengths. Uh, leverage the strengths. Typically, and it's just the way relationships end up working in most cases is that you have opposite or complementary strengths. So stay strong with uh, you know your strengths and let your your significant other be uh, strong in theirs. And not to be not to be too cynical, but I always say that the 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 things that endear you, the differences that endear you in the beginning that I you think are, are so cute. And I'm like, you know, those are the things that drive you crazy later, right? Um, so if you're organized and, and they're spontaneous, those are the things that are going to kill you later. Um, and so just knowing that the, the, there are differences. I mean, that's why you fell in love in the first place. And it is those gifts and those strengths and those differences that make you a stronger couple. And don't let them... Don't let them win. Don't let them tear you apart. Absolutely. This hour of the Experience Pros Radio Show is brought to you by four locations of Grease Monkey. You know, they do a great job, not just taking care of your oil, but they're going to do easy maintenance on your cars as well, making sure your cars are running just the way they need to. You need to know Drew Utzler, the owner of four locations, including two in Centennial, one in Highlands Ranch, and one down in uh, uh, Colorado, Colorado Springs. Springs. You can find their information in all the different locations on the Extreme, Extreme Customer Service Directory at Experience experiencepros.com Grease Monkey taking the uh, the pain out of your next loop. We'll be back after these messages on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylons, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. 
Stop repeating the financial behaviors that are keeping you broke. Register for a free teleseminar on Wednesday, September 10th and learn the common mistakes mistakes couples make that destroy your finances and often your relationship. Brought to you by Couples Money, you'll learn how to break the cycle and start creating real It's a free seminar taught by the Couples Money experts, Chris and Marlo Felton. Break out of your current financial cycle and get on the same page with your spouse. Whether you've been married for decades or engaged to be married, sign up for the free teleseminar at couplesmoney.com. That's couplesmoney.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark is coming up at noon on KLZ 560. Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show right here on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the experienced pros radio show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. You got all your ducks in a row, right? Well, you know, do you know anybody who is retiring or kind of in that, entering that retirement phase? Heck yes. Lots and lots of people, those baby boomers, are, according to our next guest, he says they could be sabotaging their own retirement. What? Mark Friedman is the author of the brand new book, Retiring for the Genius. Wait a minute, what about me? Well, and you just listen. Okay. You're just going to listen. All right. Retiring for the genius. Um, but he says that men, many baby, boomer, baby boomers are living with a scarcity mentality, and we want to break that cycle. Mark, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Mark, very nice to have you along here. Uh, all right, so baby boomers are sabotaging the roof. Why would they do this, and what's going on? See, they don't even realize they're doing it. Oh! Here's the reality. So many baby boomers today are planning their retirement as if they were retiring like their parents and their grandparents did. And remember, you know, you used to think about parents and grandparents talking about, I'm living on a fixed income in my retirement. Right. right. Well, they were back then. They were because they were getting a pension and social security, and that was the extent of their income. Today it's different. It's way I, different. I'm living on a fixed income right now. What are you talking say, about? And, and yeah. pension and social security, uh, two things that have either gone by the way of the dodos or are about to. Well, Social Security is going to be around. I mean, don't let anybody believe, let you believe that it's going away. It may okay. change a little bit, but Social Security is going to be around. Pension is another thing, and that's why we have 401Ks. That's why we've taken on the responsibility, or people have had to have taken on the responsibility of saving for their own future. Okay, so the old model, it's changing, but we're still kind of working off of that. What other things are we doing to sabotage our retirement? Well, the, the one thing, the, the big thing is, is that people aren't, taking enough risk, and I know that's a scary word, they're not taking enough risk with their money so that they can allow income to be a supportive factor in their life in retirement and stretch out for the rest of their, rest of, uh, for as long as they live. But Mark, I don't want Imagine. to lose all my money. I, I, you just, you talk about no one wants to lose. I mean, those, those are all the cliche expressions. Right. But here's the reality. When, when um, a generation before us passed away, what did we inherit? We inherited maybe the house I got a bed. And very little bit of money in the bank. Yeah. But back then, the money that you had in the bank might have been earning 8, 10, 15 percent. Right. It was. It really did. Today, if you leave money in the bank earning 1 percent, you could have a million dollars in the bank and get a $10,000 a year income. Boy, that's, that's poverty money for most people. Yet, you're going to leave a million dollars for the next generation? 
that doesn't make any sense either. So, Mark, so we have we... to find a, a, a place in the middle to make this work. All right, so what do we do? Where do we well, start? First thing, first thing we have to do is you have to take a, a real strong and positive assessment of your entire financial situation. And you have to take, do a reality check to say, okay, what do I really need in retirement and how long do I want to make it last? But the other bigger question is, not only how, much do I want to make, how, how long do I want to make it last, how much do I really want to pass on to the next generation? Because so many retirees today, and the reason that they're suffocating their, um, their financial retirement is the fact that they're leaving so much to the kids that they're shortchanging themselves today, and the kids, when they inherit this money, they blow the money. They really spend it, even though you might want to think your kids were responsible. Trust me, the kids blow the money. So you've got to find a halfway meeting. First of all, building an investment portfolio is very, very important. Getting out of that um, check, checkbook, CD mentality is something that we just need to begin to explore and experience. But there's a lot of other things we can do too. All right. Number one, another big, forget about investments, another big mistake that people make is they take Social Security all too early. Oh, no. See what happens. Wait, wait. Go ahead. Wait, wait, what is too early? Isn't Social what Security is 62 and a half? <laughs> See? Oh, good, good. I'll give you an education, too. See, you're not as much of a genius as you thought you were. <laughs> I was the one who admitted that your book title doesn't fit me. <laughs> Help me. Actually, if you're, if you're retiring today, full retirement age is age 66. <sighs> okay? So what that means is that when you go to the Social Security Administration, you can get what's called your full retirement benefit, and that's based upon how much money you paid into the system and how much you made for, uh, for at least 40 quarters or 10 years. But if you're 62, you're entitled to collect Social Security. What you get, though, is you get 80% of what you would have gotten if you waited until age 66. Now, some people might say, ah, oh, it's not bad. It's free money. I'm going to take it. But what many people overlook is that if you start taking Social Security at age 62 but still want to work even a little, if you make more than $15,000 a year between age 62 and 66, you have to start paying back the money that Social Security, oh. me, that Social Security just started spending, sending to you. Uh, this hurts my head. Well, and right. it seems like most people are it's working. Not the most exciting stuff to talk about. No, no, oh, you're making it. You're making a lot of sense here, Mark. So, so uh, before we get too far uh, down the road, give us some contact information so that we can find out more information about you uh, and and what you've got available for for our listeners. All right. Um, most importantly, is we have a new book out. It's called Retiring for the Genius. I want you to think about this. You've seen the idiot's books. You've seen the dummies' books. Right. If you were sitting on an airplane reading a book as people are walking by you on the plane, if you, would you prefer to be holding a book that says Retiring for the Genius or Retiring for the Idiot? I think I'm going to change my pattern because I'm pretty much confessing right off the top. Uh, so, but, but I'm, I'm going to change starting <laughs> I love, today. I love the self-talk yep, and right? all that there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. But trust me, there's a genius in all of us. And the reason that this book was written was to speak a finance, to, to, to um, offer a financial advice in a language that everybody could understand. And that's how this book is written. You can find Retiring for the Genius on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com and soon to be in bookstores everywhere. If you want to follow the regular advice that we provide, I provide regular advice to what I call the um, baby boomer generation. You can follow us on Twitter at Retiring Genius or... You can simply like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash retiring for the genius. And, and Mark, you can tell That's them it. about your radio show, Dollars and Cents, as well, if you'd like. Yeah, right. I, I do a radio show each and every Sunday morning. Um, it is on a local radio station here north of Boston. It's called Dollars and Cents. During the week, they play, believe it or not, they call this music of the oldies, which is music from the 70s and the 80s. <laughs> I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't call that oldies, but um, at 48 years old, I'm not considering that oldies. At least, I don't think it is. Right. And during the, uh, on the weekends, we offer some, um, uh, some, uh, some shows that we do, and mine is Dollars and Cents. It appears Sundays from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. Well, we love it. Uh, finally, Mark, one last question. Uh, a simple technique for how, to figure out how much money do I actually spend every month. You, you've got some kind of simple trick, right? Yeah. In, in the book, I think it's Chapter 3 or Chapter 4, I do it on a recipe card because it's really that simple. Here's what you need to do. Most people pay their bills out of one checkbook. Most people, have, you know, they use one checkbook to pay all their expenses. Sure, everything. sure, yeah. Here's, right, so here's what you do. You grab your statement if you're getting it um, in the mail or you can look at it online. You grab your last six months of statements. In the upper right-hand corner, the bank doesn't judge you. They just say, here's how much money you spent. Here's how much money you deposited into the account. Right. So you write down the number that says total withdrawals and capture that six times because you'll have it on six different statements. Multiply right. that number by two. 
divide it by 12, and now you have an average monthly amount. Yeah. Now, hold on. Everyone's going to say, but wait a second. That month I had to buy yeah, a refrigerator yeah. or we had to do something with the roof. Folks, there's always going to be something. Always going to be always something. Always something. I, have, I actually had a line item for that in my budget for many years. The, it, there's always something that, yeah. you know, it's the refrigerator. The kids are going back to school. I need new glasses. Yeah, it's something. You know, your, your methodology like is exactly the same way my dad taught me how to count cattle. Uh, you, you know, you count up the legs and divide by four, and, and uh, it, it always works. So, love that. You know. Mark Friedman always has very simple answers to help you navigate this very complicated, can be a very complicated um, issue when it comes to finances and retiring. I mean, even just the, the talking about Social Security and the age and the four years different. Stop sabotaging retirement. Pick up a copy of, of Mark's book and check out his website and Twitter and all of that. Uh, Mark, thanks so much for being our guest today. Thanks. My pleasure. And pick up a copy of Retiring for the Genius. It's available everywhere. Sounds good. Folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, more positive business talk. We're going to wrap this up by talking a little bit about ways to increase your online reviews. Coming next on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff it up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720 233 7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit rivierafinance.com Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119 That's 303-725-1119 Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them. It's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Each year, high school students from around the world begin the adventure of a lifetime by studying in the United States. Academic Year in the USA, AYUSA, invites your family to become a part of the adventure. To host a student or to study abroad, call us at 1-888-55-AYUSA. The Dana Show, tonight at 7 on KLZ 560. 
the Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. Let's wrap up our two hours of fun, frivolity, and uh, festivities with a little conversation about increasing your online reviews. Well, I know this is the part that makes a lot of people really nervous, is the fact that your customers can go on and say something negative. And we're not worried about the positive stuff, right? We love that. We want more of it. Sure. There isn't, um, the culture isn't really encouraging of the positive reviews. Like, here's, if you get bad service or you want to reach the top brass um, because you don't feel like you're, you're being served, we get passionate. I'll get them. About, and, and maybe we're motivated. We won't let time pass. We can't wait until till we can get online and write to this thing. And, and the passion and the motivation is phenomenal. It comes out like this. Blah. Imagine if we were that excited and motivated about the good reviews. And you know, we think, well, but that's not unusual, or you know, they 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 know they're doing a good job. But the thing is, these online reviews, these positive reviews, are integral to the growth of our business. We all need them for our company. They help other customers choose whether or not they're going to do business with us if they're on the fence. It doesn't necessarily mean, well, if I've never heard of you now because I've seen you've got good reviews that I'm going to do business with you. But if I'm on the fence and right. I'm at that decision-making process, clearly going to generate more sales. So you need to increase your online positive, positive. <laughs> reviews. Absolutely. I found an article uh, by Udi, uh, oh, this is an interesting name, Lettergor. Udi Lettergor. And uh, he, I tell you, I will not buy a camera, a computer, uh, a hamburger without doing a review. I want to make sure uh, what I'm getting is, is what everybody likes. And so he says this, there are four ways to increase your online reviews. Angel and I are going to come back with the Experience Pro Spin at the end of this. But uh, number one, he says, send a timely review request. Now think about this for a minute. You've, uh, you've offered a service, you've offered a product, and you've given your customer enough time to experience it and say something intelligent about it. That's the time to ask for the review, not at the moment of sale. Not at the moment of sale. Let them go and experience it and marinate on it and let it get in, in a little bit. And so within the week, um, ideally, uh, not too long after the delivery, you can send in, especially if you're going to be sending them an invoice, a copy of their receipt, a reminder of this is how you're using your product, um, and at the same time, you know, some links for um, the review. I stayed at a hotel this last weekend on Monday morning, of course, was, here, can you write us a review um, in my in my email, in my inbox? And so I'd, I'd already had the experience. I'd had a was able to sleep on it, and now I have the request to send them a review. The next step is to make it easy. Okay, so you send that timely review, review request. Make it easy for them to write that review. Stop with all the extra steps. Don't make them fill out a form with a pencil and not a pen. Blue ink versus black ink, any of that stuff. Just make it easy. Here, here's a quick, simple thing. And we we found uh, was it Sally Worth that told us that you could do a, a, a customer survey in four simple questions. I think it was, and it's amazing how if you just ask the simple questions open-ended and let your customer do the talking. Absolutely, and it was um, Don Briggs from Bravo who said that. That one exactly. Absolutely, who and if you give, if you send the link and all of that and the answers and everything right there. Right. Um, again, making it easy. We had a good experience. We're not as passionate about telling that story, so we're not going to go out of our way to find the find the review site and hack out a thing, it's a it's a whole different mentality. So you've got to make it, you kind of got to get us where we're at. Absolutely. The next one is to respond to those reviews that you get, uh, letting your, your reviewers and anybody who checks out your reviews know that you are actually active and engaged. You know, and I like the idea of you know seeing the stuff that other people have written as well. Not necessarily because I want to copy it, um, 
But, you know, the whole idea of saying something nice is challenging. Like, what are the words I should be using? Right. Can I say I wasn't sure? And I think that a great review is to tell people why you were on the fence, too. Sure. Remember who else is going to be reading this. This really isn't fodder for the business owner of of, oh, let me tell you, you were just so wonderful, and you were so great, and you were so great, and it was great. It really is for the future prospective customer, That's right. helping them win over a new client. I wasn't sure they could deliver on time. I wasn't sure that my needs could be met. If you had any of those concerns, you can say that in your review. It really becomes very useful and more authentic. Absolutely. And then how they overcame it. You delivered on time. You called me every step of the way. There was no pressure involved. Whatever the, the way was that they challenged it or solved the challenge that you were having, it's okay to say that. And by you offering a response to that review, a simple thank you goes such a long way because, again, it, it tells the story without you having to tell the story, really, of you're engaged, you're uh, active, and you're, uh, you value their input. But I will tell you, one of the very best ways, you want more people to give you a positive review. Sure. You know your customers are having a good experience, and we get really frustrated because nobody's giving us the review. Right. We've asked, and it didn't come. But we always say, if you want to get positive reviews, Give a positive review. Often. Give positive reviews often, regularly. Anytime you're doing business, are you giving positive reviews or is this just I want people to do it for me but I don't do it for other people? Right. So be the you know, do the behavior, be the action that you want to see in your customers as well. And I'm you know, I'm super excited when we talk about anytime. I mean, you don't do business until you've looked at the reviews for what other people are saying about them because you don't want to be the you don't want to you don't have a bad experience with somebody and only to go online later after the bad experience and see all the complaints that were out there um, because you want to just be smart about it. But at the same time, recognize that sometimes the negative reviews are really more about the person on the you know the, on the that, wrote, side. Yeah. that wrote the review. They're having a bad day. They were in a bad space. Um, you know, they sat in front of you and said, "Yeah, my everything was fine to your face," and then went home and and hashed out you know this something this negative negative thing. Yeah. If you do have a complaint with somebody, take it to them personally. Absolutely. We like to say praise public publicly and criticize. Privately. privately. Yeah. And finally, uh, reward the behavior that you're looking for. If you're looking for more reviews, make sure that you say thank you to the people who do those reviews. You can do that all kinds of different ways. You don't have to offer a discount, but you might offer a value add, maybe something that says thank you in oh so many different ways. And uh, you again, there's there's just just Google. Uh, rewarding customers, uh, there's or loyalty programs, lots and lots of different ways to get the behavior that you're looking for. And once you do, you do that over and over again. Your online reviews matter. And the more, you know, we, we have the Extreme Customer Service Directory, and nobody gets onto the Extreme Customer Service Directory without our 15-step review of your reviews. If they're not positive, they're not happening on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Well, and coming out on October 1st as we launch the brand new directory platform, well, you'll be able to give those five-star and fan brag fan reviews brags. right there That's on right. the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Absolutely. So there you have it. Uh, great, uh, great article by Udi Lettergore. Uh, we are grateful for the inspiration for that conversation. And again, folks, uh, if you want to know that we've checked them out. You can check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all the businesses that are out there. The directory is available today for you to go check out at experiencepros.com. Check them out, look them up, do business with the people that do business with the pros. And tonight we'll be in Greeley at Randy's All-American Grill. 2118 35th Avenue in Greeley starts at 6.30 tonight for all of our northern Colorado friends. Absolutely. We look forward to checking you out there. So and now on behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, and myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show happen every day, we say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for participating in this, the revolution in how people treat people in business. Now, you know, from time to time, we get a little crazy around here, and we suggest that you do something off the beaten path. That's right. We're going to ask you to give somebody a 20-second kiss. You know you want one. 
It's not what you're talking about. I'm not, not thinking uh, lock and lips here. 20-second kiss. Kindness is so simple. It takes 20 seconds to say something nice about somebody else in business today. And we will be back tomorrow. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.